We shall look at facts. Your mother was found in a room with a door locked on the inside. The gardener had to break down the door. There are no other ways out. There are no ways the door could have been locked from the outside. Then he was inside, hiding. But he is a man, Candy. He breathes like you and me. If he is inside, he takes the gas too. He dies. And where does he hide? He is not invisible. There must be a way. There has to be a way. If you can show me how a man can be in a room, invisible, a room full of gas but with air to breathe, I shall arrest him. But until then, Candy, I'll find out, Inspector, and then I'll come back. Goodbye, Candy. Goodbye. Thank you, Inspector. We were a little worried. Well, she should be back at the hotel very soon, ma'am. All right. Let me know if she troubles you again. I'm sorry if you've been worried. Not just me. Mr. Decker and Miss Edwards are out looking for you now. I went for a walk. Well, you better tell someone next time you decide to go out on your own. Will you do that? Yes, sir. Mr. Wilson, how long can you hold your breath? What? Hold your breath. How long? I don't know. About a minute, I suppose. What's the longest a man has ever held his breath? No idea. Three or four minutes, I think. That's the longest? Yes, I think so. This is all about candy. Nothing. I was just wondering. You'd rather not stay here. Paul feels you'll be happier in America with your aunt. He feels. Oh, I see. You see what? I think he's beginning to be frightened of me. Frightened? Now look, Pet, this nonsense about Paul must stop. He's only trying to do his best for you. Why do people have passports? Well, you, you have to have them if you want to travel from one country to another. Oh, I know, but why? Well, so you can prove where you are. And the country can stamp the passport, and they know where everyone is. Do they stamp your passport every time you go in and out of the country? Yes, they, they mark it with a date. In France? Yes, same as everywhere else. Now, look, Pat, I'll just go and order the ice cream, all right? Thank you, Jean. Where's Paul? Oh, uh, Mr. Wilson's out looking for him. Now, you won't leave your room again without telling me, will you? Can I just go along the hall? Yes, as long as you don't leave the hotel. All right, Jean. Come on, Tutu.
be known to. Don't want this. What is past so that we can prove that he wasn't in France at all. Maybe we're going to America. Quite. So you'll need a visa, won't you? Like that one. See, here it says all about me. And the rest shows you all the countries I've visited. Lots and lots. You sure? All right. Come and sit with me. Now, you see, this is where we went to Switzerland last year. You'd have one like that in your passport, too. That's a British one. All those are French. Ah, that's the one I went in France last week. And down here, when I came back two days ago. See, the date is marked very clearly. That way it can always be proven where one has been any given day. Interesting, isn't it? Well, I just saw Jean downstairs. She was ordering a huge ice cream. I expect she's taking it up now. Say please, Toto. what they said. Will she still be able to go to heaven? Of course she will. Suicide is wicked, isn't it? Well, sometimes it is when a person does it to escape something, something they've done. But your mummy wasn't like that. She wasn't wicked. But there must be a reason. And she would have wanted me to know. She would have left a letter so that I'd have known why she had to do it. Sometimes a person does a thing suddenly in what's called a fit of depression. Your mummy must have been very unhappy with both you and Paul away like that. But we've been away before. One can't always tell what goes on inside a person. Your mummy was all alone in that big old house. Why did she stay there then? She hated the house. 